this is Thessalonica part 8 and we're going to talk about now we've already talked about the hour being a short period of time but the hour is not as important as the testing we are being the the earth dwellers are being tested at this point we can see this in John chapter 2 verse 4 John chapter 7 verse 30 John chapter 8 verse 20 John chapter 12 verse 23 John chapter 12 verse 27 John chapter 13 verse 1 and John chapter 17 verse 1 specifically in John chapter 13 verse 1 he said having loved his no having loved his own who were in the world but not of it okay that means we were in the world Jesus and God loved us in the world we just weren't of it okay we weren't a part of it we weren't taking part in it but we were in the world in John chapter 17 verse 15 disciples were being kept from the evil one but they weren't being taken out of the world same thing in Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 people are being kept from the hour of testing but we are still on the we're still in the world okay How can the 144,000, who are supposedly these wonderful saints, stay in the world and we can't? Simple fact of that matter is we can, they can, we can, and we are Christians, and we will be here during the tribulation. Alright, now let's compare Revelation chapter 8, verses 1 through 5, Revelation chapter 11, verses 15 through 19, and Revelation chapter 16, verses 17 through 21. We're talking about the seventh seal, the seventh trumpet, and the seventh bowl. We are not going to have three periods of noises, three periods of lightnings, three periods of thunderings, and three earthquakes. Okay? And we're not going to have three periods of great hail. This is going to happen one time. It's talked about three times, but it's only going to happen once. Okay, so the hail is. It, it's, that's not, you're not going to have hail and hail and hail. You're going to have one period of hail, one lightning bolt, one thundering, one earthquake, one noises. The seventh bowl, seal, and trumpet describe the same event. It's that simple. Okay. Let's look at Revelation chapter 6 verse 10. In Revelation 6 verse 10, it says that God's wrath hasn't begun yet. God's wrath hasn't begun. The Antichrist's wrath has already begun, but God's wrath has not begun yet. Okay? Revelation chapter 6 verse 12 matches perfectly with Matthew with Matthew chapter 24 verses 29 through 30. So if you read Matthew 24, 29 through 30, and you read Revelation chapter 6, verse 12, you'll see the descriptions there a match identically. Okay? Now, there are no pre-trib raptures uh, discussed in the following scriptures. Check them out. It never says pre-trib rapture in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. Matthew 24 through 31 Matthew 20 Matthew chapter 24 verse 31 Mark 13 chap, Mark that Mark chapter 13 verse 27 John chapter 14 verses 1 through 3 2 Thessalonians 2, chapter 2 verse 1 Revelation chapter 14 verses 14 through 16 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 through 52 Nowhere in those scriptures do you see a pre-trib rapture mentioned specifically anywhere. Okay. Now then, let's continue. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 doesn't say the exact moment of the return of Jesus. There are several scriptures that also don't mention the exact moment of his, of his return. But this is an evidence of his non-known time of return. Okay? So, for these people to say that 
Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 is a reference to the fact that, oh boy, uh, we don't know when Jesus is going to return. We know the times and seasons. Paul said so. Alright. Philippians chapter 4 verse 5 says, Lord is at hand. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 as you see the day approaching, so we're going to know by season when this day is going to come. James chapter 5, verses 8 through 9. The coming of the Lord is at hand. It says so. And we can see similar phrases in the following scriptures. Matthew chapter 24, verse 33. Know that it is near at, at, at the door. It's not going to come at a moment that even Christians won't know. It's only going to come as, at a moment when the earth dwellers don't know, which is the people who don't believe in Christ. Mark chapter 13, verse 29. Luke chapter 21, verse 28. Your redemption draws near. Okay, so we're going to go by season rather than by um, time as in marking it off on a calendar. First, Pe First Peter chapter 4 verse 7. Philippians chapter 4 verse 5. And if you look at, at the description of Philippians chapter 4 verse 5, you'll see that it's talking... Um, notice the word near. Okay, We're looking at the word near. It's found in Philippians chapter 4 verse 5. It's also found in John chapter 2 verse 13. It's also found in John chapter 6, through, chapter 6 verse 4. And John chapter 11, verse 55. And we'll see this again in James chapter 5, verses 8 through 9. And John chapter 7, verse 2. Okay. Now, people are st often saying these dispensations, okay? This this doesn't work, okay? Oh, the, the seven churches represents the seven dispensations of theology from the times of Jesus Christ, okay? There were different periods of church history, and they're saying there are seven periods of earth history, and these are represented by the seven churches of Revelations chapter 1 through 3. Yeah, that didn't work too good. Why? Because Jesus gave the church of Thyatira higher marks than the pre-trib teachers give to the uh, corrupt medieval church. And Jesus gave a lower mark to the Church of Sardis than pre-trib teachers give to the Church of the Reformation. The seven churches simply are churches and not church ages. Okay. If the things that are represent the church age, then what does the things that were represent? Remember, uh, John was told that there are the things that were and the things that are. If the things that are are the church age, then what are the things that were? Oh, is that supposed to be the Old Testament? Yeah, right. The phrase, after these things, always refer to John's personal experiences. This, this, is, this is the various visions that John is seeing. Okay? And he shifts from one vision to the next. These are, these are shifts in vision. You can see this. In Revelation chapter 4, verse 1, Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, Revelation chapter 15, verse 5, Revelation chapter 18, verse 1, Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. John saw Jesus in Revelation 1, 19. Jesus mentions the, the things which were... Which, okay, Jesus mentions the things which are in this vision. So the things which had not happened, they, so those things which had are which are had not happened yet, they would happen in the vision. Therefore, the visions have nothing to do with dispensations. Simple as that. The churches are referred to in chapters one through three of Revelation, and the. Uh, th those churches are the churches in Asia Minor. They have nothing to do with the whole church. Okay, these are churches in Asia Minor. All right. The word church is just as absent from heavenly scenes as heavenly scenes, okay, as it is from earthly scenes. Okay. If the church is in heaven, why is it never referenced? 
We can see this in Revelation chapter 4, verse 1 through chapter 5, verse 14. Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 through Revelation 8 through 5. We can see this again in Revelation 11, chapter, in Revelation chapter 11, verse 15 through Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. We can see this again in Revelation chapter 14 through 1 through verses 1 through 5. Revelation chapter 15, verses 1 through 8, and Revelation 19, verses 1 through 10. The word church is absent in Revelation chapter 19 through from verse 11 through verse 16. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11 through 16. The saints in the book of Acts are the same saints in Revelation. If you look at the book of Acts, you'll see saints, 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 saints. You'll see the same thing in Revelations. Okay. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 13, through verse 31. Acts chapter 13, verse 31. Take a look at those verses first, and then take a look at Revelation chapter 11, verse 3, and Re Revelation chapter 17, verse 6. Okay. Now what about God's people? God's people are referred to in Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. They are also ref referred to in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16. God's servants. Alright. Check out Acts chapter 2, verse 18. Ch check out Acts chapter 4, verse 29. Check out Acts chapter 16, verse 17. Then go to Revelation chapter 7, verse 3. Revelation chapter 19, verses 2. Revelation chapter 9, verse 5. Go again to Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Go again to Revelation chapter 2, verse, verse 20. Revelation chapter 2, verse 20. And you will see that God's servants is all mentioned there. And you'll see that, that uh, uh, God's people are called witnesses. God's people and God's servant. Both in Acts and the letters of St. Paul and also in Revelations. In Revelations chapter 4 verses 1 through 2 John is being told to come up. He isn't caught up. He is told to come up. Okay, he is given an instruction to do something. The two witnesses are not a representation of, post, of a post-trib rapture even though the clouds mentioned in Revelation chapter 11, verses 11 through 12. It mirrors Paul dis Paul's description of the, of the church's rapture. Okay. And that concludes Thessalonica part, I believe this is part 7 or 8. But anyway, we're going to continue this in the next video, so stay tuned.